Welcome to Authentic Heartwork, where we create art from the heart. Today we're painting Flamingo Paradise. My name is artist Silesia. I will be your instructor for today, and we will be painting together. Make sure you have all your materials and supplies, and let's get ready to paint. We are going to start by using orange and white, blending a very light shade of orange to create our sand. Here's a tip. Use a little bit of water on your brush when blending colors. It will give it a smoother blend. Paint all the way down to the very end of your canvas. Don't forget to paint your sides. Next, we're gonna start our sky. With your blue paint, paint the top portion of your canvas and give it a little curve on the end. Without washing your brush, get some white paint and you're going to start blending into your blue and coming down halfway onto your canvas. Remember the tip, a little bit of water helps to get your blending much smoother. Keep adding white, no more blue, and you'll start to create a very nice light blue, sky blue color. Come down halfway to your page and then stop. Now with a flat medium sized brush or small brush, take green paint and create your line in the horizon, separating your sky from what will now be your ocean. Paint a few squiggles meeting your sand randomly throughout the ocean. Then start adding blue paint and squiggle it in with the rest of your green to give it a very nice wavy look. This is a technique that I'll be using. If you'd like to make your ocean smooth, you could do the same technique we did with the sky. Using the same technique, Start to add bits of white so that the shallow end of your ocean is starting to meet with your sand, creating a very realistic look. Have fun creating your squiggles and randomly add bits of white as you're coming closer to your sand throughout. Leaving more white where the sand meets the ocean gives an effect of the ocean foam and makes your painting look so pretty. Notice that I'm not washing my brush. I'm still using the same brush with the greens and the blues, so it's giving a very nice light teal look, which looks like the shallow end of the ocean. Now, with a small brush and black paint, 
On the left side of the canvas, we're going to create a small island in black that is where our palm trees live. My island is in the shape of a heart. You can make your island any shape that you'd like to, just as long as you're having fun. Next, we're using a small brush and we're going to create four or five lines moving in different directions. Doesn't have to be perfect. This will be the base of your palm trees. Next, we're gonna create stars using green paint and a little bit of black is fine on the top of each palm tree. One line at the top one line on the top right, another line on the top left, and then two lines down below. There we have it, beginning of our palm tree. So how I like to create the leaves on the palm trees is by creating the letter V going outwards away from each branch. So we're doing diagonal lines on the right side of the stem, diagonal lines on the left side of the stem, creating little Vs using a fine brush. Take your time repeating this step over and over for each tree, and once you're done, you'll have your palm trees. Here's a tip. If you need to turn your canvas to make it easier, you could do so. Repeat the same step on each palm tree, creating your five point star with lines, starting with a line on the top and an X going through the center. Do the same thing for the rest of your painting. For the smaller trees, there's no need to do the V. You could just do one-sided Vs, and it still looks really good. There are so many ways that you could create your palm trees. Go with what feels right for you. To give your palm trees a little flare, don't make your lines too straight. You could curve them a little. Now it's flamingo time. Take your hot pink paint and create the letter S, marking it out to the size that you want it. Once you've created a large S, start to paint into it, creating your flamingo, making the head a little thicker and rounded, connecting through to the neck, spreading your paint out and making sure that you're getting somewhat of an even coverage. Take your time with this and remember, we're using our very small brush so that we can add more detail. We will be adding layers to this so your paint could be brighter. So don't worry if you make a mistake, you can always wipe it off and start all over again. As long as your background is dry, the acrylic paint won't set for a few minutes. So don't be afraid, if you make a mistake, you can start all over again. As we continue to create the body of the baby flamingo, remember, we're spreading our paint out. And keep in mind, it may look translucent, but once we add our second or third layer, your pink would be even brighter. Next, we're gonna create the mommy flamingo, and that's going to be the same technique just a backwards letter S. Much taller, reaching up 
into the horizon of your ocean, covering over some of that green paint that we put in the back. Remember, it may look translucent now, but as you add more layers onto your dry paint, it will become much brighter. As we build the body of the Mama Flamingo, keep in mind that you're making it a little bit larger than the first. Completely paint in both birds and once you're done we could start with the beak. Using a small paintbrush we're going to use some black paint and create the letter V curving down into the flamingo. Repeat this same step for the mama flamingo. You can create the legs of the flamingos connecting to the body and also their feet which look like two little V's on the opposite side of each other. Make sure that your flamingo's legs are nice and long. Once you're done, you can start with the eyes by taking white paint with a clean brush, creating circles on the head of the flamingos. Shade it in in white using your tiny brush and some white acrylic paint, repeating this step for both flamingos. Once you're done, use the back of your brush and a little black paint and you could just dot two tiny dots right in the center of those two white circles. Again, using your small brush and some black paint, create three birds in the sky. It's the letter V with a small curve on the end, curving downwards. Once you're done, sign your name. Once your painting is dry, it should look a lot brighter and even more beautiful. You can add glitter if you ordered your kit with us, you should have received it. And if you have any questions, just reach us on our website, AuthenticHeartwork.com. Thank you. Love Artist Celicia.